after your sending, I think that you are sleeping and we are all sheep. <laughs> so I don't care. And in, in this question that also my Krishna does like You are Nishin Hadev. So be humble to all devotees. Don't have anger to anyone. Huh? Anger should be given up from heart. Don't be angry to anyone, otherwise my whole devotees will fear. Now you are so soft. <laughs> so you should give up your anger to me. In the middle, you Thank you. 
one of the first disciples, and he said to the Guru Dev, you have not, you have done so many things, collected so many devotees all over the world, but one thing you have not done, and that is to establish Banashram. So Guru Dev, but once he replied, yeah, I'll have to reply this, he says, at once. So in morning walk, Sri Guru Dev was asking, should we be in Banasham? Are we in Banasham or not? So yesterday, day before, especially yesterday, we heard that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he was not interested to hear that Banasham is our goal. To please Vishnu is not our goal, as it is especially outlined in the uh, rules and regulations of Smarta Banasham. The yeah, Aracharyas, especially Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada, and after his disciples, Srila Bhakti Prakyan Kesavarva Swami Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, they also wanted this same Banasham to be implemented, but not Smarta Banasham, a Daivi Banasham. Yeah. Daivi Banasham means anyone from any stage in life, he may be meat eater, drunkard, Mohammedan, like us, hippies, or completely lost in this world. We can only think back, some of us a few years, some of us 20 years, 30 years, where we were. Bewildered completely. Then, the message came from Guru Parampara. Shri Mahaprabhu's representative arrived in the Western countries and he introduced the process which little of us, little amongst us could understand at that time. Shri Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, he simply said, chant and be happy. Very simple process. After that, when he gave initiation, then he said, oh, by the way, you have to follow a few things. <laughs> <laughs> so, the devotees, because they had so much attraction and they received so much affection from Srila Prabhupada, they at once surrendered to his instructions. I have to follow some rules and regulations. I have to follow some normal human standard of life without Banasham. Yeah, there is no basis for bhakti. Yeah. Sri Guru explained that in Vanashram there is especially emphasis Daivi Vanashram on Ashram. Yeah. Brahmachari, Grihasta, Banaprasta, Sanyas. Sri Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati he established yeah, that from any area yeah, in society if a young man comes forward and he is renounced. He is attached to hearing Harikata. He understands Siddhanta. He can be given sannyas. At that time this was a revolution. But he was very bold. He didn't care. Even he risked his life. We all know the history in Navadvi where the Smarta Brahmanas wanted to kill him. And only by this wonderful Lila have we come to know the special relationship between Alparam Gurudev, Shri Bhakti Prakyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj, and Shri Prabhupada. How he risked his own life, changed the dress, the cloth, the outer garment of his Gurudev, and faced the uproar amongst the Smartas who were ready to kill Shri Prabhupada. Only because he was so bold to establish this principle that anyone who is interested to engage in the activities of Bhakti make Guru Krishna the center of his life. He is fit to enter Daivi Vanasham. But then, it should be really, as we have heard from our Acharyas, Daivi Vanasham means Brahmachari, Grihasta, Banaprasta, and ultimately Samyas Ashram. We are all having one of these ashrams, which we can identify with. So what is the duty? If one is Brahmachari, Banapras, or Sanyas, in Daivi Vanasham, always engaged, hearing Harikata, 
being in the association of sadhus, in this way, never becoming attached to the sense of death. In Krihasta, ashram, marriage, yeah, not as we live often, Natures try to enter the Guinness Book of Records again, marrying, again, marrying, again and again. Once, yeah, marriage, be chased. If there is any difficulty, try to reconcile, try to overcome any difficulties and be fixed in your situation, in your ashram. And at that stage, engage in hearing Harikata. Serving the sadhus, inviting them to your home, to your city, and also in this way benefit, your bhakti will increase gradually. You will become also detached from the sense of yaks and you will progress in your bhakti. So this is Daivi Vanashram, and this is what our acharyas wanted to establish. So although Shiva Chitani Mahaprabhu rejected, still the devotees were asking Shiva Prabhupada. Uh, when Shri Prabhupada mentioned this, I want to establish Vanashram, then the Lord is asked, but Shri Prabhupada, we are all Vaishnavas. Then Prabhupada replied, don't think that you are Vaishnava. It is not so easy. First you should become a human being. Don't be an animal. Yeah? If Sanyasi, why falling down? Yeah? We have seen in history. This is not Vaishnava. This is not even Daivi Vanashram. Daivi, Daivi Vanashram means we are fixed. Stane Stita Shutikatam Tanvam Mano Bir. Fixed in one position. Hearing Harikata from the pure Vaishnavas. Inviting the sadhus and this will <coughs> nourish our bhakti. And we will quickly attain that supreme goal which Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Hearing in the discussion between Rai Ramananda is going to manifest in this Association. One check out for the review sacrifice in the way of the other. Some of the other is of two types. One a Daiva and another is Daiva. Raramanan has not, uh, Mahaprabhu has not cut it. Rejected Devi Varnashamdha. He rejected only Adaiva Varnashamdha. Devi Varnashamdha had told by Krishna Chatur Varnam Maya system Guna Karmi Vibhavasa. In a smart voice now, Adaiva Varnashamdha, a son, a son, whether he has quality as no, or not. Brahmin son will be Brahmin. Like the father of uh, Raman was Brahmin and Rishi. I don't remember. Pulasta Rishi, he was the Rishi. Pulasta, eh? among seven Saptarshi. But his son became like Demon. And then he is not now called Brahmin. Always. Raman or Rakshas. Hiranyakasepu. His father, his son was Pralat Maharaj. But he is not called Demon. He is the Guru of Brahmins also and Sannyasis and all. So this is but Dhanubarnasya. This is the backbone of our society and also this is the platform of Bhakti. If Daiva Varnasham is not there, oh, everything, where it will stand? So you should try to follow. Ram came, Sri Ramchandra Ji came to establish all these things. And you see that even Ramchandra rejected her, advised her forever, her whole life. But Sita Devi Fadi. Eh? She rejected and divorced and he took another husband. Also Ramchandra, for some reason, he rejected the king, not Sitari. 
You have to know all these things. So, for some reasons, if anyone is divorcing, it is not good. If you want to establish an, a background of bhakti, then you have to uh, accept oh, this Daiva Varnasha. Be together. Don't divorce daily. This is the Western country life fashion. fashion. India to coming, but is still not more than 5%. Those who are some old in my ages, I have seen, at that time there was no, I actually no, no divorce. But now coming in new generations. So now oh, everything is changing very, very rapidly. So my request that try to follow that. For some any reason how you should not divorce each other. If there is something, discuss and if you cannot, then any person should be mediator, you can write me, I will try my best that it should be solved. That's it. What is a duty of a Vaishnava to Vaishnava? Like brother, we are our brothers. We should not call it. You saw? And the region came, so many regions, that there should be friction in Pandavas, being Yudhishthir and others. But they never fought together. It may come in the Ram Lakshman Bhats Satruvna. It may come some reason, but they never quarrel. But we see that we are God brothers more than that, and we fight each other. So where is Varnasam We are sannyasi, even in Varnasam Dharma. Sannyasi in uh, Daiva Varnasam or anyone, they can be. In the Vishesh Bhadi, they are not. They are sannyasi, but not. They have nothing to do with Krishna and nothing to do with Bhaja. So they are only sannyasi. We reject them. So, I request you, for some and how any small reason, don't try to change your husbands and wives. Yeah. <laughs> also, <coughs> if you will do, your son will what will? They will be or orphan. Children will be orphan. So, <coughs> first this thing. Mm. It will come, uh, perhaps in the chapter that the Karmapan has been done. Now, Swadharma, yeah, who will speak? Can you speak? You can help. Can you tell? Why we should reject Varnasham dharma and all Swadharma? Oh, you, I know you can. You should no, learn from them. No? Gradually. Give some time. And then preach. You are the best preacher. I want you. Mm. you. So here, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is in the conversation with Sri Ramananda Roy, is here in Savadama Prithija, Mame Kam Shanamdrija, Hum Tom Sarvapat Vedyo, Mokshai Shani Masucha. The Bhagavad Gita, this is one of the last instructions of Bhagavan Sri Krishna to. Arjuna on the battlefield of Kukshetra. 
It explained to Arjuna many things thus far in Bhagavad Gita about the difference between the body and the soul. They had given him some Atma Gyan. So that is necessary to achieve the Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's his question to Ramananda Roy, what is the sajja and what is the sadhana? What is the method to achieve that goal? So, <clears throat> Sarvadhamma Prithyaja, give up all varieties of religion and surrender to me. The surrendering process has to be embraced if one wants to enter into sadhana. It is not quite sadhana bhakti, but it is uh, sadhana bhas. If we want to enter into sadhana bhakti, we have to go through the doorway, and that is understanding that this body is temporary, that the pursuit, pursuits of this world in the form of artha, dharma, moksha, karma are very temporary. Uh, anitya dharma. We want, have to understand what is nitya, eternal occupation of the soul. Who are we? Jivara Swarupaya Krishna Nitya Das Jivara Tatashta Shakti Beta Beta Prakash Krishna Tatashta Shakti Beta Beta Prakash The eternal servants of Krishna Parts and parcels of Krishna Tatashta Shakti Krishna has three energies Antaranga, Bahiranga and Tatashta Shakti Tatashta Shakti is the marginal Krishna has internal energy, external energy and marginal energy like the shoreline It is not in the water or on the shore, but there is a fine line. We are marginal energy. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, in his instructions, says, Sanatana Goswami went on further. Krishna Bhuli Se Jeev Anadir Bahu Mukha Ateva Mayatai Samsara Dukha. So from time immemorial, turning away from Krishna, we have forgotten our eternal relationship. So the process of Sharanagati, surrender, is the how we turn back towards our relationship with the Supreme Lord and enter into sadhana. So that process of surrender is very important. Mm. But Mahaprabhu rejected that is slow. Sarvadharman Pratyajya Mam Ekam Sharanam. He asked Ramnan to go higher. Take him into ah, real so sadhana. rejected. But should we reject Saranagati or no? No, we have to. Then Mahaprabhu enter into Sarana Bhai and throw the door away. Why Mahaprabhu told you? He rejected because this is not a description of the goal or the actual process, but it's just the entrance into it. It's a reflection. If we don't uh, develop the six qualities of surrender, Anukulyasha mm. Samkapa, Pratikulyasha Bharjanam. Accepting and rejecting was favorable for our bhakti instead of accepting and favor was favorable for sense gratification. Thank you. Economic development. What is the solution? Mahaprabhu told you have a buyer. And in this is what he is low quoted, in this is Sarvadharman Pratyajya Maam Ekam Sharanam. Then he also rejected the Sharanagati also. So, what is solution? Should we reject Sharanagati or no? Huh? Om Gana Timaranda Sa Gana Salakya Chakshur Mulitam Jena Tasme Sri Gurabi Namaha. So, Srila Gurudev ordered me to speak a few words concerning the next stage in the conversation between Sri Roy Ramananda and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has said that Varnasham Dharma is external and also Krishna Karmarpana not doing duty just for the satisfaction of Vishnu but doing your duty and making conscious offering Oh Krishna may you be the enjoyer of my activities going beyond this now Roy Ramananda is giving another suggestion and that is the two uh, Swadharma Tyag 
to give up one's dharma, one's religious responsibilities in this world. So to support this point, he gives a verse spoken by Sri Krishna in the 11th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, Agya yaiva gunan doshan maya ristan api swakam dharma santyate ya saravam vajetamam sacha sattamaha that a person who examines the virtues and also the deficiencies of the result of following a dharma, one's occupational duties in this life. And knowing them, even knowing that these are my orders, this is my order, still he leaves them in order to take up my service. Krishna said, of oh, that person I consider him to be superior to those who are following the dharmas. So then Ramananda gave another uh, evidence. Sarvadaman parityajya mame kam shanam braja aham tam sarva pape deo mokshay shami mahasuchaha. Krishna told Arjuna in Gita, Abandon all varieties of dharma, religion, and surrender unto me alone. I will protect you from all sinful activities. Do not be afraid. So here, Krishna said, Give up all dharma. What kind of dharma? That does not mean Atma Dharma. Atma Dharma is pure bhakti. This only refers to Dharma which is related to the Upadi of the soul. Sarva Upadi Vinay Muktam Tatparetvena Nirmalam Rishikena Rishikesha Sedna Bhakti Uttama. Bhakti is of oh, not having any Upadi, acting on the basis of any Upadi, but using the senses in the service of the master of the senses. So here Krishna is saying, Sarva Upadi Vinay Muktam, first thing, that Sarvadamam Prachadya give up all the duties which are related to the Upadi the designations gross and subtle which are covering the soul as Sri Raghunath Daska Swamipad said Na dharmam na dharmam shutikana niruktam kilakaru O mind don't be always engaged in calculating what is dharma and adharma so Krishna here he is saying that the the duties, for example, in Varnashram Dharma, you have a, a duty to serve your parents, to serve the king, to serve the society. Re you have responsibility, obligations to your teachers, and all of these things. But actually, what? Sri Chris Krishna is the father of your father, he is the teacher of your teacher. He is the origin of everything. So, if one will have to do dharma, why? Because by doing dharma, you become free from obligation from those who, to whom you have debt. But, all of, everyone is in debt to Sri Krishna. So if you serve him, you relinquish all other obligations. And therefore, to give up the, the dharma's material responsibilities, uh, this is uh, helpful, but for the, so one will not become entangled in this world. Sarvadhanam prachaja mame kam shanam braja. Krishna said, surrender to me. But then he said, Makshay shami masu chaha. I'll save you from all pap. Sarva pape bio. I'll deliver you from all sins. Why? If a person has family, they have to take care of their family. To leave their wife and old parents and their children. This is very sinful. This is pap. This is very sinful. But Krishna said, if you will do this, to surrender to me, then that sin, oh, I will take it away. Masuchaha, do not fear. So the word Masuchaha, do not fear, is indicative of the fact that Krishna is speaking in such a way to encourage those who are not spontaneously attracted to bhakti. Because those who are spontaneously attracted to bhakti, they don't need any bargaining. Hmm? If you serve me, I'll save you. Don't be worried about this and that. So, there is some, uh, this instruction is to uh, give encouragement, but not to those who are spontaneously attracted to devotional service, those who are fearing. Devotional service means, oh, for Krishna I can do anything. Krishna te akila boga tyag. Krishna te akila cheshta parayan. I can leave everything for the happiness of Krishna. Or I can uh, do all endeavors for the happiness of Krishna. But in this verse, it is instruction to a person who they are considering their own happiness. Or oh, if I do this, perhaps sin will come to me. He said, don't worry, I'll protect you. Therefore, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he said, 
This is something external because the negative principle has been given. Leave your material obligations. But nothing has been directly stated about the positive injunction. That is, one should take up Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Parasema, Achnavanam, Dasam, Sakyam, Atmani Vedanam. So for this re all these reasons, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has said, Eho Bhaiya, this is a, something external, tell me something more. So now we come to the point, does it mean that we should reject uh, Sharanagati, surrendering to Krishna? So for this, we have to see, what was the question of Ramananda Rai? Ramananda Rai said, what is, sorry, the question of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, what is Sadhya Sar? What is the essence? What is the highest objective of life? So in relation to the highest objective of life, this is not the answer. But in relation to the conditioned souls who will have to gradually develop through the stages towards that highest goal of life, it has some relevance to them, depending on their stage. So in this way, though Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he put this aside as an answer to the question, what is the ultimate goal of life? We should not put this uh, verse aside. The, us we are, who are conditioned in this world, we should accept the aspects of this verse which are relevant to uh, the, our stage of development and then go on up to the next stage. Because Krishna explained that adhikarastesham, what is gun and dosh? We can only measure what is a virtue or what is a fault in a person by how they act according to their adhikar, their eligibility. It may be that some instruction is for a lower stage and some instruction is for a higher stage. So if you follow the highest instruction, is this our great quality? Krishna said no. The, the actual virtue in life, the real quality in life is when every individual takes up their uh, activities in relation to Krishna which are relevant to their adhikar. If we try to do something which is more advanced for which we are qualified, this is a defect. And also, if we have become more qualified, but we adhere to the lower duties, this is also a defect. You should know <coughs> there are two kinds of Saranagati. One is like worldly. And second is the door of bhakti. Here in this slow, Krishna is telling to fight and kill Bhishma, Pitama, Dhoma and all others. This is a very great scene. So how can I do? How can I kill you? Or don't worry for them. What I am telling, you should do for me. Take my shelter and I will excuse all these things. So he, here he is Laukiki Sharna, not Parmathiki. That is Anukulyasa Sankalpa. Bhakti Anukul there. Bhakti Anukulyasa Sankalpa. Prashti Kulyasvi Varjanam Rakshasatiti Ki Vishwaso Or this is actually go of Bhakti. But that out of fear he he is telling. And Krishna is telling that don't fear. I will excuse you from all these things. So that was worldly Sarnagati, but this Sarnagati. He has not rejected, but it is not full saranagati or bhakti. Only it is a goal to eat. Now, <laughs> should we consider what has been described by Bhakti Nautaku in his book Sharanagati? Oh, that is Paramatthiki Sharanagati. And this Sharanagati mentioned here, these are two different types. Yes. yes. Otherwise, anybody that has not written that uh, you should reject Saranagati, Paramartha. Everybody has been told that we should accept that Saranagati. Without that, you cannot advance the 
gradation of this uh, sharanagati or devilish bhakti category. Now one thing, it has been told, tavat karmani kurvita nyan nirvedya tejabata matatha sharanado vasadhan najabata. In this world, there are three kinds of person. No? One is Agya. They don't know anything, so they, give, they can give up all kinds of dharma. One asam dharma or this dharma. Swadharma. And second, Nasti. They don't believe in Vedas and Shastra, like both they don't follow all these things. And third, Tavat Karmani Kurvita Nani Vedes Javata. You should not give up all these things, Varnasam Dharma. It can be only give up, okay? only in condition that really nirved has come, detachment from God. How? Oh, by <coughs> testing the fruits of world and seeing everywhere. Anyone is not happy and by this anyone cannot be happy. There are tom temporary all these things. So anyone is not happy. <coughs> seeing this, like an example, I can say. It. Perhaps in, you know the history of India. There was a King Bhaktrahai. He was Bhakta. His younger brother was younger brother. Vikramaditya. Kalidas, Varamir and all were his court. Navaratna 9. Very high class. One day, a prostitute, very young, very beautiful. She has so much affection and love for him. For the king. Anyhow, he received Naulakha a jewelry eh? necklace, very high class. And then he presented to King to please him. He was very happy too. And he used to love his wife so much out of like pran. So he, by him, his own hand, he gave that necklace in his wife's neck. And he was looking, and very happy. But really that his wife has so much love and affection for his army leader, what is Senat? General? General Kumar. He was also very strong and very young and very beautiful. So, to please him, she gets that necklace to that. But that, come on, not attached to this lady, Rani, but he was attached to that prostitute. <laughs> So in return, when it came again to king, then he called his wife. Oh, his commander in chief. He general he, he asked, Oh, come on, where you receive this? And then he began to tell, Oh, I will not kill you, but but you should tell the truth. 
and he told that it came from your wife. No, I love her so much and she is loving to whom? And they, that is loving to prostitute, prostitute to me. <laughs> At once, he rejected everything and Nirbhaya came. And same night he left his kingdom, his everything, wealth and revelation and, and told his brother that he used to look after him. Not delayed a second, oh this is called him. If that kind of nirvet has come, you can give up and be shannasi. Otherwise not sadhu dharma and But also, one thing is more, if Nirbhaya has come and Matkarha Shanadho Vaad Javanya Jayate, he is not fully qualified, Nirbhaya Vala. <laughs> After some time it may come, again some desire. So, Matkarha Shanadho, any high class of devotees. And at that time when there was Nirbhaya, there was detachment. At that time, any man came, a very exalted, qualified devotee. And he heard Hari Katha. And then a Shraddha came in Krishna Bhakti. That if I will do Bhakti, then my life will be successful and everything is complete. So this is the right way to give up all Varnasana, Dharma and Dharma. Then the enemy will come. Hmm? Then it may be by hearing Harikatha at that time, he may have a greed also. And that will come Krishna Bhakti Rasabhavita Mati there. So here it has been told. Those who are Agga, they don't know anything, they can give up because they don't know anything. And those who are nasty, like Bodha, they will give up. And third, who are qualified, Nirveda and also hearing Harikatha, they have had Ruchi something. They will give up. The first two, when they give up, then they get pap. It seems that they will get pop, the first two. Even with Agya and uh, Nastik. When they leave Dharma, they Oh, they don't know what will be the result. They don't know anything. So they can give up. But anyway, they know they don't know, but a will come to them. Yes, yes. certainly. Both. They will have to test the result. Shorten. And this person, like you told, Gatav Mukunda Parihatta That is so. If anyone knowingly all these things and he has some ruchi in Krishna Bhakti, Krishna Seva Bhasana has come and if he is giving up his wife, children and all, then oh, nothing. Because Krishna is the root of all. He is no father. He is everything. So, it will come. See. Gold Praman and What is it? it can be. Uh, after that, after that, perhaps hmm. Mahaprabhu will tell Sad Dharman Pratyajya. Oh, Iho Bhajya. Tell something more, and then he will to tell. Brahmabhuta Bhakti. Brahmabhuta Prasannatmana So, this is somewhat higher. This was Karma Mishra Bhakti. And now coming? Gyan Mishra Bhakti. 
ज्ञानविषा भक्ति इज हायर बिकॉज ब्रह्मपूत प्रसन्न आत्मा न सोचति न ओम ज्ञान तिमिरंग से ज्ञान जन शलाकय चक्षुर मिलित तस्मय श्री गुरु So as Shri Gurudev pointed out that this discussion on giving up one swadharma, swadharma tyag, and uh, giving up all other dharmas and simply performing sharanagati to Krishna, <coughs> in this level there is still some mixture of karma, karma mishra. So, uh, but then when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu actually rejected this suggestion saying that it is bahya again he told it is bahya external age kohar speak further than this so now shri ramananda roy he explained the principle of gyana mishra bhakti that means bhakti devotion to the supreme lord which is mixed with gyan mixed with knowledge and in order to substantiate this point he now told this verse from Bhagavad Gita, Brahma Bhuta Prasanatma.